Hi guys, welcome back to Twin Science. Thank you very much for all your nice comments in the last video. Also, we're very excited because our first semester is almost over. Yay! And for the ones that are watching us for the first time, my name is Karen and my name is Fred. And in today's video, we will make two experiments based on probability and genetics. Hope you like it! So, in this experiment, we will explain the probability of getting the different combinations when flipping two coins. As you can see, the probability of getting heads heads or tails tails is of 25% each and the probability of getting heads tails or tails heads is of 50%. This gives us a ratio of 1 to 1. And the materials we'll be using for this experiment are two coins, a piece of paper and something to write on it. The first part of this experiment consists of flipping 20 times both coins. So, let's get started! Now that we finished our first 20 flips, let's check our results. We got 5 out of 20 heads heads, 10 out of 20 tails heads, and 5 out of 20 tails tails. As you can see, we got the same as the predicted results we mentioned before. Let's have a little break now that we end up the first part. Stop dancing guys, because now what we need to do for the second part of the first experiment is flip 80 more times the coins in order to reach 100 flips. We're done flipping, now let's see the results. This time our results variated. We got 15 heads heads out of 100, which gave us 15%. 54 tails heads or heads tails out of 100, which gave us 54%. And 31 tails tails out of 100, which gave us 31%. Our second experiment is about plant genetics. We'll be using beans and coffee beans. The coffee will represent in the plant a tall dominant trait, and the coffee bean a short recessive trait. You can use cheap coins, candy, or any other thing you have at home. Make sure to have a hundred of each item. We separated 50 coffee beans and 50 beans and put them inside one glass mixed all together. Then, we repeated the process another time with another glass. Finally, we labeled each glass to identify who was the mom and who was the dad. The fun thing starts now. You will close your eyes and take out randomly one thing from each glass. You can get beans beans, which would result as a pure red homozygous dominant with a tall phenotype. This represents a probability of 25%. Also, you can get coffee beans coffee beans, which would result as a pure red homozygous recessive with a short phenotype. Also with a probability of 25%. Or you can get a bean and a coffee bean, which would result as a tall hybrid heterozygous with a probability of 50%. The genotype ratio would be 1 to 1. One homozygous dominant, two heterozygous, and one homozygous recessive. The phenotype ratio would be 3 1. Three tall plants for one short plant.
The predicted results for the bean bean were 25% of probability. We got 23 out of 100, which made up the 23%. As you can see, the same happened with the coffee coffee, and in the bean coffee, the predicted results were 50% of probability, and we got 54 out of 100, which made up the 54%. You can see that our results were very close to the predicted ones. We could see that the results we got were not the same as the predicted ones. This happened because probability will never tell you a 100% true answer. It just gives you a rank and an approximation to the real result. The probability will not change. It's equal as if we had 50 items. The probability using 100 items of each color is 5150. And the probability of using 50 items of each color is 25, 50, 25. Both of the results simplified to the minimum are 1, 2, 1. But with our investigations, we reached the conclusion that it's going to be easier to get the predicted results if you have more objects. Genotype will still be the same, 1, 2, 1, but the phenotype will change in the area of tall short allele. Coffee coffee will still be expressed as a short allele. Bean bean will still be expressed as a tall allele, but coffee bean or bean coffee will be expressed as a medium height plant, changing the ratio from 3-1 to 1-2-1.